and welcome to the show. Today I am on GTA 5 looking at some more mods and with a little bit of a challenge. Recently I attempted to drive a train, I think this one's just gone past over there, there we go. I, I attempted to drive a train at 200 miles an hour, I got really really close, about 191, 192 miles an hour it got to before it, uh, before it derailed. Uh, but uh, we're going to try and get another vehicle. Uh, up to the magical 200 mile an hour mark and it's another very very silly one because I've got a bus here. Yep, we're going to try and get the, the <laughs> this great big huge thing to uh, to 200 miles an hour. Now mods installed, I've got the the drift car mod, the, the same one that I used when I did the uh, the tailgate, the slidey tailgater versus the police. And that mod not only affects, uh, affects all sorts of vehicles but one of them is the bus. It turns the bus into a drift car. Well, a drift bus. It's like around an awful lot of guy through here I've just shown him. <laughs> it's it's quite a ridiculous sight I will be honest it, it's just yeah it, it's, it's quite crazy having a very very <laughs> over steering bus it slides it slides around surprisingly well I have to say oh brakes maybe not so maybe not so good on it oh crap we're gonna take out some lampposts no it's fine it's fine I've got control we're not gonna make that turn though I'm <laughs> just fighting for control yeah, we, we're, we're coming through here and then we're gonna hopefully Try and make this turn up here. Oh, can't see a thing because of the trees. Eh, it's fine. We'll just bounce off a street lamp. Uh, yeah, it is a ridiculous thing to, uh, to to try and control, as as you can imagine. We have loads of steering lock as well. One thing the mod does add, massive steering lock on, on the bus. But uh, to make these vehicles sort of drift and slide around, uh, often friction is uh, sort of drastically reduced on the rear wheels, which is why we see lots of spinning, and power is upped an awful lot as well. Now, what that tends to mean is that, well, the vehicles suddenly become very, very fast. The, the, the way that the sort of GTA 5 standard handling mechanics work is cars don't really slide around that much, so you have to do lots to them to get them to, to do anything, so this is actually really rather quick. If you can get control of it, if you can stop it sliding, I mean, we saw with the tailgazer, I think I got that to like 170 or something uh, at various points without too much effort, without like sort of specifically trying to go for it for speed, uh, because if you stop the wheel spin and really get it going, uh, these things have got so much more power and less friction and so on, they can get up to ridiculously high speeds, and that is what I'm going to be attempting to do. I've got to try and keep control of this bus and get it up to the 200 mile an hour mark or higher. I don't know how fast we could potentially get this thing to go. Judging by the fact we're up to 100 and... Ooh, uh, okay, yeah, we're up to 150 already, but this is not the, really the ideal. Uh, the acceleration is even more than I expected from the bus. Here we go. Ooh, we're up to 150 already, but we've got a big court wheel. We've got a corner coming up and we've only got one lane outside of the road. Ooh. No, don't do that. that <laughs> the one thing I absolutely love about this mod is that it's not just player cars that are affected. So if we see, there we go. I think that's a Sultan. Oh no, I wouldn't be. I would not be on the side of the road there. Then, <laughs> not with a slightly bus. Yet I very, very nearly took uh, took that character out. Uh, yeah, you'll see a AI vehicles. I, if we could find an AI driving a bus, it would be hilarious, I imagine. But uh, sort of AI Sultans and and the, some of the supercars and so on, they will be sliding around manically as well. Come on, bus. We can do it. We can get 200 out of you, mate. This is looking... No! No, you silly, silly thing. No. We gotta... Oh, save it. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Nearly rolled, nearly, nearly, nearly rolled the bus there. Ever so slightly. Uh, I, I, I say silly thing to the AI. Well, okay, yes, I was going 170 up the inside of everything. I wasn't exactly being safe, but uh, if you looked at your rearview mirror and saw a bus coming at that speed, you would not move late. Even if you wanted to go that way, you would let the bus go and do its thing. You would, you would not bloody argue with it. I can tell you that much. Right, 160 miles an hour, and we're kind of just doing a very, very long slide. There's, there's a wall tap, a little bit. It wasn't a crash, it was a wall tap. That's how it works. Through the gap at 130, it's not worked. We're going for a pirouette and keep going. Oh, the grizzly was in just the wrong place. <laughs> oh, no, fence, barrier, crash barrier. Don't, don't hit that, that's bad things. Okay, I can get it up to like 150, 160 quite easily, but trying to keep it together and get it to 200 and not sort of lose control is getting the last few miles an hour out of it is really, really difficult. Come on, stop wheel spinning, gentle with the throttle. And let's see, now we're going to find traffic again, and it's too narrow for me to do anything. I can't carry any more speed. Oh, there's a gap in just about in there. There we go. And now we're coming to the really busy part of the uh, of the city, or the, the motorway, I should say. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, standard standard traffic. Ooh, I've had that. Uh, oh dear, I may have misjudged that sort of gap there ever so slightly. Hey, roll the bus. Only took five minutes, and <laughs> bus is over. Ooh, and landed on. Yeah, don't get angry at me. Well, okay, yeah, actually, that's fair enough. Oh, we're a little bit stuck. Could you give me a push? Could you give me a push? Okay, no, never mind. You're not needed. Yeah, go on, run along. Just leave your car in the middle of the road. Just come running along after the, well, 170 mile an hour bus. Goodbye. Uh, <laughs> I got distracted. Yeah, even without the... Sort of, I, I love the insane traffic mods, ha having really heavy traffic. Even without that, though, this piece of motorway is always the busiest bit. In uh, in GTA 5, or one of, the, one of the busiest bits. See, the problem is, is I want to kind of be on the inside here, like on the hard shoulder almost, to try and uh, not have to be swerving in and out of traffic, because you're never going to get speed having to, to weave in and out of traffic like this. But of course, when you are on that inside, cars that are trying to come off the motorway are, are going to there. So we get we get problems. Oh god, there's a big old traffic jam going on. I'm just swerving down the motorway at like 120 in a bus. This is... <laughs> <laughs> oh no, didn't want to be out here, didn't want to be out here, ooh, hello Granger, we're just going to use that to straighten us up, it's fine, it, thank you for the assistance, ooh, does this, is this the road, oh, this road may just go into the city sort of normally, can't, um, yeah, forgot about that, well, I should have gone off one of the side roads, ooh, no brakes, no brakes at all, we're going, <laughs> we've, 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 we've made our arrival into the city known, shall we say, Oh yeah, bugger! I, I forgot where I was. Uh, where I was supposed to be going. Now I've got a. Oh, there, <laughs> there goes the El Camino. I think it's the Picador. I think uh, it goes slide. Yeah, it is great fun watching the AIs drive with these cars. Hey guys, don't mind me. I'm just coming, coming through, coming through. I spy a motorway. I don't know how do I get on said motorway. Is there an on ramp around here somewhere? Uh, there is a, a, a point. Can't remember which point it is that we we can get onto the motorway. Oh, maybe it's this way. Did I spy the ramp over here? I'm trying to look at the bloody mini-map. No, it's the other side. Oops. We'll just do a... There we go. We can do a sort of a burnout spin style thing with a bus. It's fine. Oop. Sorry, guys. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. It's okay. I've got control. Ish. It, very ish at the moment. Ugh. There we go. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That, that, I know that thing's not going to be able to stop if I go sort of flailing out of control. I know he's got no, no more grip than me. Uh, yeah, we're just going up there. We, we're, I'm heading this way anyway. I'll, I'll sort myself out once we get on the motorway. There we go. Uh, oh crap, there's no, there's no a crossing point. Damn it, I don't think there's going to be barriers the whole way down. Because I, uh, I don't think there's a way to get up the other side here, is there? Oh, there is. Bugger it. Oh no, there's a way off, but there's no way up. There's not really no way up there. Well, that's rubbish. Uh, <laughs> we're going back out of the city again. This is not really the way that I want to go, because... Uh, all right, there's a gap there. I believe that ooh, if I get on here... We'll end up going up the other side of the uh, other side of the map. That's kind of the plan, and hopefully, we can find a point like the, the the tunnel through the military base. That could work if we can just not have cars in the in the wrong place. Right, oh, I've got to lift again, or I can't really be on much much throttle through here. Uh, which road do we want? Oh god, I've got to, have to take a look at the map. I'm not used to navigating this bit. Okay, we don't want this road that we're heading down. That's the bad one to go. Sorry, going across this way. There's a few scratches on the bus, I will be honest. It's, uh, <laughs> it's not really in pristine condition anymore. Uh, we're just, we're, 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 I was trying to make a gap. I'm, I'm making a gap? No. Nope. Everything... <laughs> uh, I love how everything is... <laughs> I can't push anything out of the way. I have just so much wheel spin. Look, get a move on, Tornado. I'm kind of in a hurry now. There we go. We're on We're on the, the motorway. Oh, this is far too busy. <laughs> Every... <laughs> I cannot do anything. I cannot use any of the speed of me insane bus. I would, this would be an opportune corner to sort of drift around, only, well, oh, for God's sake. I have a very, very fast bus and I'm stuck in traffic. It's normally traffic stuck behind buses, but no, today we're, go <laughs> we're stuck behind everything else. Right, onto the motorway. This bit of the motorway is nice and wide, but it is busy, so I would think it unlikely again, think it unlikely that uh, ooh, I could get too much more than sort of 130 down here before I'd have to slam on the brakes. Like into this tunnel, this bit here is uh, incredibly busy today. Uh, no, no, can't do anything because if I go for any power we're going to be very, very sideways and uh, well, now our lane merges. There's a gap there. <laughs> Just yeah, we'll, we'll find that gap, it's fine. God, too much traffic still. Ooh, it's more, can I keep control of the bus while weaving through traffic? There we go. No, Buffalo. Ooh, that was a bit close. 
Let's not do that one again, guys. Now we're now we're out of the uh, the main city area. Now the traffic should calm down a little bit, but it is a bit of a twisty road to start with down here. It's uh, yeah, not quite. Oh, I may have ah, I, okay, yeah, it becomes one lane again. That's why the Huntley was wanting to move over. Yeah, it becomes one lane for a little while. I don't think I can do much down here as of yet. Just go for really ridiculous slides in the bus. There we go. That's what <laughs> that's what we'll do. Uh, oh crap. <laughs> The gauntlets are drifty cars and they don't have any brakes. That's uh, <laughs> one thing to worry about the AI doing. Yeah, well done, bike. Just drive into the path of the bus. That was a real. <laughs> you could have swerved the other way, but no. Well, yeah, I may have may have ever so slightly run over a run over a motorbikerist. Uh, <laughs> this is just such a ridiculous. I love it for it's just absolutely ridiculous. Nurse, uh oh. We got tagged, and we tagged we, we tagged another crash that was going on, and it's it's all been a bit of a, a bit <laughs> little bit of a mess, just just a, a small bit of a mess, right? Oh no! <laughs> I'm just about holding on to this at 130. Right, we're starting to get towards where we are likely to be fast. Now, yeah, is, is the bridge? It's a little bit of the road before the bridge, the 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 bridge then oh, through the military base tunnel bit and then up the other side is probably the straightest, widest bit of road that uh, that we have available to us. There's a little bit of a J turn going on in the uh, middle of the motorway. Don't mind me. Yeah, as if that is coming up right to mountain now. We're going to have to go for well, stick in the middle of the road is the uh, the best option here because it is quite is quite light quite wide sorry single lane road and uh, yeah we've got a big big area in the middle come on bus we can do it we can do it before we get into the tunnel ah oh, god damn it no we can't 173 oh oh dear <laughs> we killed it a buffalo we did crack 173 ah maybe going the other way around would work better because we can pick up speed in the tunnel uh, while while sort of in traffic and we can then go to the rather than going getting sort of 170 just as we get into the busy tunnel we can be going sort of 110 as we leave the busy tunnel and then pick up speed when we're on our own yeah this this I'm used to weaving down here again with the taking me out just don't aim for the very big bus uh, you could go steer any other way than that one um, yeah I was hoping that the tunnel was a little bit wider than that I'm used to driving it in cars and you're fine doing it in cars in this, it doesn't really work quite as well. Okay. Oh, hey, you hit me. <laughs> the, uh, the scratches on my bus are impressive. The uh, intruder didn't really have that that good of a brakes. Right. If we're going to crack 200 miles an hour in the slidey slidey bus, this is, I think, the way we're going to the way we're going to do it. Now, if we can kind of hold it steady at sort of 110, 130, maybe uh, through here, and then as we leave. Go to the centre of the road, and now we go for it. I've got to be so careful getting the power down so we don't just get wheel spin. 180, 190, 200 miles an hour! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> we got the 200, it was about 203, and then we went for a very big pirouette. Yes, the bus, the bus has cracked the magical 200 mile an hour mark. We have got a super bus. I have no idea how fast it could go. I imagine it could go really, really, uh, rather ridiculously fast uh, when we're not dealing with, uh, when we're not dealing with rain. Rain is, uh, rain is a little bit, um, <laughs> A little bit more difficult for this. Yeah, I've done 200 miles an hour genuinely on the roads. Admittedly, did have an instant crash, but genuinely on the roads, I did 200 miles an hour. But now I'm going to take it to the airport because I do actually want to see just how ridiculously fast this uh, this vehicle will go. I will just stick the marker over here somewhere. We will teleport ourselves. The joy of um, <laughs> of being on PC. Oh, we're slightly. Teleport, it's it slightly got confused. Oh bloody hell. We are miles in the air. This isn't gonna end well. Uh well, I mean we're gonna hit the two hundred mile an hour mark sort of falling down. Sure, why not? Uh <laughs> it's never spawned me miles in the air before. Uh <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna get I'll turn off this. We don't want uh we don't want a wand in rating. Okay, well, we got 225 by falling out of the sky. That's not... It, normally, it spores you quite nicely wherever it is that you're supposed to be going, but no. Fine. We'll, we'll have a, a, a slight space bus. Okay. 
airport. Now we have we have a large amount of uh, of runway, but it's still it's still limited. So we're going to have to ooh, try and make the most of it uh, from this sort of standing start. I'm not sure uh, how well we're going to do, and with the rain and everything, it's just be so gentle on the throttle while still actually giving it enough enough throttle to really get it going. And so that's the tricky balance. You see, I don't honestly think that this is that. It's not really going to work, I don't think, much better because it's not really enough enough space. What I may do, uh, if this is going to work, from a standing start, I'm not going to crack 200, I don't think. But if we were to, let's say, come from around here, admittedly the rain is not helping matters, but uh, if we were to come from around here, do a sort of a, a rolling start, try and take some speed around the turn, a little bit difficult to see where we're aiming for, but... We take a, take a little bit of speed around this corner. So we've got a sort of 100 mile an hour head start as we come on to the, uh, to the runway. And then we boot it. No, we're just sliding. We're just sliding dramatically uh, across there. Come on, bus. We can do 100 and... No, uh, we're only doing 150. And that's not going to work. Oh, we're not going to get any more speed out of it that way, I don't think. Hmm. No, I think the motorway may have been the... Uh, the best way of doing it in all honesty uh, I will just quickly turn off the turn off the rain just for for complete fairness sake I don't know why <laughs> freeze weather was apparently on yeah a lot of good that was doing let's just have it clear and we will it will dry up by the time I got the bus set up for the next attempt it will have, it would have dried up I don't think we have just enough straight here yes there's lots of tarmac to play around with for uh, <laughs> a great big drifty bus but uh, yeah, I don't think there's quite enough actual straight bits to get it up to the uh, to get it up to speed. Maybe we'll see. Okay, Whoop. around here. Uh, come on, get going, get going. Uh, it may just be quicker just to boost it. Yeah, we're gonna just <laughs> we're just gonna have to go with it. I think if I if I try and faff around too much with uh, stopping the wheel spin, we're just gonna not be able not be putting enough power down to actually get any speed up. Okay, I can't take any more speed than that around there, though. That's the issue. Like, 90 miles an hour is all the speed that I can really can really get, and then by the time we get down here, it's quick, but it's not enough. It's only 160. Hmm. Curious. Uh, <laughs> I thought that this was going to be big enough. I have to say, I thought this runway would be large enough to get the bus up quicker than we got it on the road, but apparently not. Well, it did crack 200 miles an hour. Which is mighty impressive for a bus, let's not forget. I'm, we're just going to go for it. Go for it. Come on, bus. Come on, bus. We can do it, or we're going to end up in the water, or we're going to end up in these things. Them things it is. Michael may end up in the water. The, nope. <laughs> Michael's fine. He took barely any damage from that. From crashing a bus at 180 miles an hour and then getting catapulted out of it, he is surprisingly okay. Ah, there's a jumbo jet coming into land. Uh, Shame we didn't come into land about uh, a minute earlier. So clearly wasn't working at the uh, the main Los Santos airport, but I was I just I just had a thought that it may work out at uh, the Sandy Shores one. I'm not sure if it's uh, a longer runway, or we, but we may be able to get a uh, a slightly longer run up, possibly. Yeah, we're gonna give it a try. I don't. I think it's it's still exactly the it's it's still the same problem. We can get it going, and it will get going up to about 196 miles an hour, <laughs> and then it's throw the bus at the scene. Oh, the, the <laughs> there is nothing around to hit except for that one lamp post, <laughs> and we hit that. Of course. Of course we would. What about going the other uh, the other way? We're not even going to we're not going to get that good a uh, run up. Uh, actually, tell like we've, we've we've gone quite a distance off the end of the runway. There's just a dune buggy parked in the middle of nowhere as well, uh, somewhere over there. Where is the where is a way onto the airfield? Uh, oh crap! This is all sort of hilly. We don't want a hilly. This is not really a good vehicle for going off road at the best of times. Let alone when you take away all of the grip and give it lots and lots and lots of power. Uh, oh, we're gonna beach it, I think. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> I think we may possibly have uh, come to an end here. <laughs> Damn it, I thought I could carry enough speed to get over. Come on, wiggle. Wiggle yourself free, bus. There we go. Okay, hasn't quite come to an end. We're just about alive. Uh, 
<laughs> Bloody bus. Ah, yeah, the gap that I was going for is actually quite hilly as well. Uh, okay, speed and throw it up there. There we go, see? It's fine. Now, if we attempt to carry... I, just, I need to find a way of carrying... Oh, I forgot the bushes are indestructible. And... <laughs> Almost rolled it off the bush. If we carry a little bit of speed around, admittedly we can't carry much speed around this turn because it will just be wheel spinning sideways. But if we get a little bit of speed around this turn, maybe carry on to the uh, the runway. No, it's, it's it's too tight a turn to carry any speed around there. And then we go fire the bus at the uh, <laughs> at the scenery. Come on, we can do more than 200 miles an hour. Come on. No, we've got to run out of runway. This is uh, not quite enough either. Woo! And we have flying bus! <laughs> Look at it go! <laughs> oh! It is the end of the bus. Oh well. It went through a hell of a lot of punishment. It fell from space. It went there. It went for a rather dramatic flight there. Yeah, 200 miles an hour it is possible in a bus. It's a very, very small, small section of places you can get 200 miles an hour out of it. Uh, who knows how fast it could go. But... Uh, <laughs> Is there a limit to the, It's more limited by the sort of roads that we're on rather than the actual uh, speed that the thing is that the thing can do. Yeah, it's good fun though. Great fun messing around with a uh, with a very very silly bus. I highly recommend it. I'll put the links to the other mod in the description so you can download it. Have a go with it yourself and see if you can get to a higher top speed than I did. But uh, that is it from me. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, uh, goodbye. Thank you.